Have you ever wondered how wolf packs maintain order and coexist in the wild? Welcome to About Our World, where we explore the fascinating aspects of our natural environment. Today, we're setting our sights on the captivating world of wolf packs and their intricate social structures. Wolves, as many of you might already know, are social animals that live and thrive in packs. But did you know that these packs are far from a random assembly of wolves? They operate under a complex hierarchical social structure that ensures order, safety, and survival. At the top of this hierarchy are the Alpha Wolves, followed by the Beta, and finally, the Omega Wolves, each playing a unique and critical role in the pack. But that's just scratching the surface. Join us as we delve deeper into the intriguing world of wolf packs and their social dynamics. Remember to subscribe, like, comment, and share our content if you find it interesting. At the top of the social ladder in a wolf pack, we find the alphas. These wolves aren't just born leaders. They earn their status through a combination of strength, cunning, and charisma. The alphas are the decision makers, the ones who lead the pack on hunts, decide where to roam, and when to rest. They're the ones who set the pace for the pack, their decisions shaping the lives of every member. The alpha pair, often a male and a female, are typically the parents of most of the pack. Their pups grow up watching their every move learning the ways of the wolf from the best teachers nature has to offer. It's a tough job being an alpha, but these wolves are more than up to the task. But it's not all about power and control, alphas also have a softer side. They nurture their young, teaching them how to hunt, how to play and how to survive in the wild. They show immense patience and care, understanding that the future of the pack lies in these young pups. Maintaining their status is not a walk in the park either, it requires constant vigilance, strength, and a certain amount of diplomacy. Alphas have to be good at reading the mood of the pack, at understanding the subtle cues and signals that wolves use to communicate. They have to know when to stand their ground and when to avoid conflict. Their role in the pack is crucial. They ensure the survival and success of the pack, navigating the complexities of social dynamics, food scarcity, and potential threats. Their leadership is about more than just authority, it's about wisdom, resilience, and the ability to make tough decisions when necessary. The Alphas are not just leaders, they are protectors, teachers, and guides. They carry the weight of the pack on their shoulders, their decisions affecting every member, their strength, their wisdom, their courage, it all contributes to the survival of the pack, to the intricate dance of life in the wild. So, the Alphas are the decision makers, the leaders, the ones who guide the pack, but what about the other members? Let's find out. Just as critical to the pack's functioning are the Beta and Omega Wolves. In the fascinating world of wolf packs, each member has a unique place and purpose. Let's delve into the roles of the Beta and Omega Wolves, who, despite their positions in the hierarchy, play integral parts in the pack's survival and cohesion. The Beta Wolves are the pack's second-in-command. They're the ones who would step up to the plate if something were to happen to the Alpha Wolves. Consider them the lieutenants of the pack, always prepared to assume leadership in a pinch. They're strong, dependable, and loyal, often acting as the backbone of the pack. These beta wolves are also the peacekeepers. They mediate disputes among lower-ranking wolves, maintaining order and preventing chaos. It's a role that requires strength, yes, but also a keen sense of diplomacy and fairness. The beta wolves' ability to balance power and peace is what keeps the pack functioning smoothly. Now let's turn our attention to the Omega Wolves. They occupy the bottom rung of the pack hierarchy, often bearing the brunt of the pack's aggression. On the surface, it might seem like a harsh life, but there's more to the story. Omega Wolves play a crucial role in maintaining the pack's harmony. They're like the pack's social glue, diffusing tension and promoting play. Yes, you heard it right, play. Play is an essential part of wolf culture, helping to strengthen social bonds and reduce conflict. The Omega Wolves, with their playful and submissive behavior, encourage this vital aspect of pack life. Moreover, the Omega Wolves are often the ones to care for the injured or sick members of the pack, showing a side of compassion and empathy that is, indeed, quite fascinating to observe. So, while they may not command the same respect as the Alphas or hold the authority of the Betas, the Omega Wolves are far from insignificant. They are the heart of the pack, the ones who keep the spirit of unity and camaraderie alive. Despite their lower status, Beta and Omega Wolves play crucial roles in maintaining the pack's harmony. Remember to subscribe to About Our World, like, comment, and share our content to keep exploring the intriguing world around us.
The social structure of a wolf pack is not just about hierarchy, it's about survival and cooperation. Now imagine a typical day in the life of a wolf pack. It begins with the pre-dawn hunt, a carefully choreographed dance of teamwork and strategy. The wolves spread out, each playing their role in the chase, their positions and actions dictated by their place in the pack hierarchy. As the day progresses, the pack turns its attention to the care and protection of the youngest members, the pups. Older wolves, regardless of their rank, take turns watching over the pups, teaching them the ways of the pack, and ensuring they're safe from harm. In the quiet of the night, the pack's unity is once again on display as they defend their territory. The Alpha leads, but every wolf has a role to play, from the Beta wolves that form the front line of defense, to the Omega wolves that stay back to guard the pups. This intricate social structure is more than just a pecking order, it's a system of efficient communication and cooperation that maximizes the pack's chances of survival. The balance of power, responsibility and unity is a marvel of nature's wisdom. In the world of wolves it's not about the individual but the collective. The strength of the pack is in the pack. The social structure of wolf packs is a testament to nature's wisdom, balancing power with the need for unity and cooperation. So, we've taken a journey through the social structure of wolf packs today, revealing a world of hierarchy, cooperation and survival. We've uncovered the crucial roles of the Alpha, Beta and Omega wolves, each contributing uniquely to the pack's survival. We've seen how these roles form a dynamic intricate web of relationships that ensure the continuity of these fascinating creatures. Thank you for joining us on About Our World. Remember to subscribe, like, comment and share if you enjoyed our exploration of the social structure of wolf packs. Until next time, keep questioning, keep exploring and keep appreciating our fascinating world.